Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It is uh, nine o'clock on a Wednesday and it's time for a Hidden Gems. Now, what is a Hidden Gems? Well, basically, it's one of my favourite videos of the week. The idea with the Hidden Gems series is I bring to your attention a trick or a product or a routine or something that you might not have seen before. Now, I think that personally, the Hidden Gem series is one of the most important series on this channel. We stand on the shoulders of giants. There are tricks that have been out um, for decades that are way better than anything that's come out uh, in the last two or three years, but we don't think about them and we don't know about them because we're always racing to pick up that latest and greatest trick. Now, I had a couple of people say to me after my last Hidden Gems, which was B-Wave, by the way, I called it B-Wave and it's B-Wave, I really didn't know that. And apparently uh, it's an insult to Max Maven. I personally don't think it is. And I'm sorry if you think that. I just wanted to bring his trick to the attention of everybody so that more people were aware of it. And I had a few people saying, it's not a hidden gem. Everyone knows about it. Well, stop being elitist. Not everyone knows about it. There are new people coming into magic all the time that have never heard of routines like that. They've never heard of Brave. They've never heard of anything like that. They're brand new into magic and all they see is the newest stuff that comes out. So if you think that this doesn't apply to you, it doesn't. But, you know, I do this channel, not this channel, I do these series of videos for people who are into magic that are relatively new that might not have seen the stuff that people have been around for a while have seen. And I'm sorry if it offends you if I'm showcasing something that you are hyper aware of and you don't think that's a hidden gem. I personally do, and I know from speaking to people that there's a lot of people who'd never heard of routines that I present on this particular video series, and, and, and they are super thankful from having it drawn to their attention. With that in mind, I'm gonna be looking today at an app. It's one of the oldest apps that came out, and because of that, hardly anyone knows about it, but it is incredible. Let's go for it. So today I'm gonna to be talking about iForce by Greg Rostami. Now, if you don't know who Greg Rostami is, he is a powerhouse when it comes to apps. Uh, you know, a lot of people know him for Inject or Realist. Uh, there's so many different things that, that, that Greg Rostami has brought to the table over the last sort of maybe, um, you know, 10 years or so. But one of his very first apps was iForce. It's still around. It's very cheap. I just checked the app store. It's £2.50. It will not break the bank. It's one of the cheapest apps that you will find, but it is incredible. And I think that everybody who owns an iPhone should have this app on their phone because it is capable of doing so much. Now, what it is basically, it's an app that looks a little bit like a Doodle app. Uh, and it works like a Doodle app. You can actually use it like a Doodle app if you want to and save your Doodles and delete your Doodles. Absolutely fine. But hidden into the app is the ability to have a six, uh, no, an eight way out. So you have an ability to do an eight way out but the eight way out that you do is completely customizable. So for example, in other words, I can use this phone uh, and I can open up my, my Doodle app. I can write something on the Doodle app, put it down, have them name something, and one of eight possible outcomes, I can lift it up and I can show that uh, I had predicted it correctly. Now there's multiple presets that come with this, but you can create your own presets as well. And I'll talk about that in a minute. But first of all, let me show you a performance of something that you can do with iForce. This is the simplest thing. This is just predicting a number from one to eight. I'm gonna show you a performance of this. Look at how deceptive this can be. Even something with a one in eight chance, where you're literally just predicting a number, can be really powerful. Let's have a look at that right now. Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It's, uh, what time is it? It's six o'clock. It's time for Magic Live. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a very simple trick with iForce. Now, I talked about iForce on the channel recently as a hidden gem. iForce is probably one of the best apps ever created by Greg Rostami, but a lot of people um, have forgotten it because it came out so long ago. Now, I'm going to do on this video a really simple trick. Really simple. Like, it's ridiculously simple. And there's so much more you can do with iForce, but I just wanted to show you what you can actually do, the power that this app has. So I'm gonna do this on Jack, if that's okay. Yeah, so Jack, on my phone, I have um, a doodling app. A doodling? Yeah, look, it's there, doodle. Hopefully you can see it, maybe uh, maybe um, Michael can see it as well. It's a doodling app. So how, how the doodling app works is, no, you can just doodle, and you can use different colors, and you can doodle, and you can doodle. Uh, well, hang on, let me get you a bit 
Yeah, Doctor's yeah. handwriting, basically. Yeah, well, you can write notes for yourself on there and, and you know, whatever. And then if you want to delete it, you can by just hitting Gray's doodle. Or you can save it or you can upload it or <laughs> whatever you want to do. Anyway, I'm going to use this to make a prediction. Oh, I know. I think. Got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When I snap my fingers, name one of those numbers. But only when I snap my fingers. Because what I'm going to try and do is influence you to land on the number that I want you to pick. That's what I'm going to do, because magic a lot of the time is all about influencing people. Um, if you've ever seen Darren Brown, you'll know that that's a big key thing in what he does. I'm going to try and influence you. So listen again. And then when I snap my fingers, say that number immediately. Two, four, six, eight, one, three, five, seven. Are you sure? Yep. Three. Three. What? Now, maybe, just maybe, it was a fluke. I hope so. So I'll tell you what, we're going to do it with Michael behind the camera. Michael, we're going to do the same thing. Listen carefully, I'm just going to make a prediction. Listen to me. Seven, six, five, four, one, two, three, eight. Seven, six, five, four, one, two, three, eight. Seven, six, five, four, one, two, three, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, one, two, eight. Name a number. Two. You sure? Yeah. Jack. Yeah, I like it. <gasps> <laughs> I'll do it That's one cool. final time. <clears throat> One final time. One more time. One final time. Let me just erase that one. Because once could be a fluke. Apparently I've forgotten how to erase a note. There you go. Erase doodle. There it is. One could be a fluke. Two. Maybe there's something in it. But you two decide between you who's going to pick the number this time. I'm going to make one last prediction. Who's making it, Jack? Me. Okay. You ready? Yep. Listen to me. I'm Remember, sorry. you're going to name a number from one to eight. Listen to me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Name the number. I'm not snapping my fingers for fun. What number? Any number. The whole point of what number? I've already made my prediction. Listen again. When I snap my fingers, say it straight away. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Five. You're joking. <laughs> Really? <laughs> How'd it go? <laughs> isn't that great? Like, isn't that absolutely amazing? Like, literally, you can do that over and over again. And just that, just the simplest application of iForce can really blow people away. But when you realise that you can do anything with this, well, suddenly the possibilities are limitless. So, for example, I'm going to show you another preset that comes with it now. I'm going to show you another performance. And this is predicting a type of food. Now, this comes preloaded into iForce, and it is such a really fun routine to do. I'm going to show you this. Let's have a look at a performance of this. Okay. Hello. Uh, Jack, I, I showed you the other day my little doodle app. Do you remember it? I do. Doodle, doodle, doodle. Look, I can draw a picture of you. Yeah, I don't look that happy. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to um, I'm going to make a prediction here, and we're going to try something. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to write something. Uh, Bear with me. I'm getting into my jack zone. I'm there. The what? The jack zone. <laughs> I'm going to uh, figure out how you think. I've got it. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. So, Jack. Actually, I'm not, I'm not too sure. Let me just. What's he doing? I'm not too sure. I'm really not too sure. Okay. I wasn't quite in the jack zone. Stop saying, stop saying that. I'm there now. I'm there. I'm inside your head. Yeah. 
Mm. Jack, I want you to imagine. I, mean, I really want you to imagine this. I'm painting a picture for you and I want you to imagine that you're doing this. Imagine that um, you're leaving work tonight. Okay. And, and you, you, you take the bus, right? So I want you to imagine that you're walking out the office building. You're walking down the road to the bus stop. You catch the bus. You sit on the bus. And then you walk, you, get, you catch the bus to your house. Now, near where you live, there's probably different places that you can eat, right? Quite a few. Yeah, quite a few. So I want you to imagine that you're walking down the street and you're getting back to your home and you feel hungry. And then you look over and you see there's almost every single type of food that you could possibly imagine. And you decide you're gonna get something. You're gonna get, you're gonna get some food to take home with you because you're really hungry and you're gonna treat yourself after a hard day's uploading to Netflix. So, so you, you look at all of these different places that you can eat and one of them appeals to you more than anything else. And I know you've been on a diet for the last 16 years and like you, 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 <laughs> you rip like a motherfucker now, but I want to imagine that you've decided to have a cheat day. Okay, and you can eat anything. Anything. And you decide to go into that one particular place and order food from there. When I snap my fingers, say the place. A Chinese place. It's Chinese? Yeah. You sure? They're like a chow mein. Like a chow mein. Because there's like Mexican food there, there's like, there's like everything, there's American, there's Indian, everything. You sure you want Chinese? I've read a Chinese. Did you feel like I forced you and influenced you in any way? How could you? Well, I, I, I agree, how could I? But the thing is, what I wrote on here- Oh, come on. Is, is Chinese. <laughs> So look at that, that, isn't that deceptive? Isn't that like a really deceptive thing? You literally, now, now obviously for sure, you need to justify the use of the phone. And the best way to justify the use of the phone is with the old Andy Nyman dodge, uh, which is uh, you go to write something and you realize your pen's not working. So instead of writing it down, you're gonna take your phone out and you say, I'll, I'll write it on this doodle app. That completely covers it. And then you're absolutely sorted. A uh, couple of different ways that I, I, I now, Actually, before I talk about that, I said you can create your own presets. You can. You can create as many presets as you want to. So you can create your own eight way out. You can write anything that you want to. So if you've got a routine that requires uh, eight outs, using the phone is absolutely perfect. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, you can create multiple presets and you can go into whichever one you want to on the fly. Couple of really great ways of using this. The first way is with EDC. So if you have EDC, you'll know that one of the ways that I justify the sorting procedure is by predicting how many receipts the person's item is on, right? You can do that with this brilliantly because you can just say, I'm gonna make a prediction of how many receipts your item's on. Do me a favor, work out how many it's on. Oh, it's on three. Look at that, I predicted three. And then if you're using the digital version of the, uh, uh, and if you know, if you've got the project, you know what I'm talking about. But if you use the no crib digital version um, to, uh, you know, go onto Amazon and, uh, and, and, and then give them the phone, you've got the phone in place. So then you can go into that routine very, very easily. Um, so with EDC, it's perfect. I have another routine that I use with Blake Voigt's six way out wallet, which works brilliantly with this. So um, with this, what you would do is you create a preset eight way out and you just write the eight most popular um, Tom Cruise films that have ever been made. I did some research on this a couple of years, years ago. And by research, I put a post on Facebook. I asked everyone to name their favorite Tom Cruise film. Only six films ever get named. So what you do is you write the eight most popular Tom Cruise films that have ever been made, which is really easy to do because you know you can guess them, right? Top Gun, Mission Impossible, blah, 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 blah. You write them down and you create that as a preset. Then all you do, if you've got Digital Force Bag, you use Digital Force Bag to force Tom Cruise. So you give them the phone, you tell them to look up their number on the list, and you tell them to look at the celebrity. You then say, you've got that celebrity in mind, what I want you to do is think of a film that they're in, a film that everybody would know. It's important that you say a film that everyone would know. Uh, have you got one? Brilliant. Now, from their point of view, they could have named, they could have thought of any celebrity. They then could have thought of any film that any celebrity made. There's thousands of different options. And then you open up your phone to your Doodle app and you say, I'm going to write down the film that I think you're thinking of. So you do that and you write it down. And then you say, right, first of all, the celebrity. See if I can get the celebrity. I'm going to show you what mind reading looks like. And you read their mind and tell them it's Tom Cruise. And then you say, but you were thinking of a film, weren't you? And I made a prediction right from the very beginning. What was the film you were, look you were thinking of? Risky Business. Amazing. Because look, I wrote Risky Business. It's an absolute killer routine that you can use with iForce and do it anytime, anywhere. 
So iForce is your hidden gem this week. It's brilliant. If you're a, an iPhone user, you should, have iPhone, you should have iForce on your phone. If you're an Android user, have a quiet word with yourself. Uh, but you can get this immediately, £2.50 from the App Store, and it is all kinds of brilliant. So there you go, guys. That's another hidden gems in the back. Do me a favour. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you have iForce? Are you going to use it? Do you use it? Are you going to get it now? I'd love to know. What do you think of the routines that I shared with you? Seriously, using it with EDC is brilliant. You want to see more videos like this? Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, if you want access to my, uh, to my uh, uh, private streaming service, over 300 tricks and more being added every single week, you can do so by going to www.thenettricks.com. That's www.thenettricks.com. Everybody is there and everybody's loving it. If you want to see why, go and join it now. I'll be waiting for you. Thanks very much for joining me. I will see you again soon. My name's Craig from Magic TV. <laughs>